All right, what's going on, boys and girls? How's everybody doing? Kings of Queens, big fat bastard to big fat bastard. That's lovely to have everybody here, and what a joy it is for you to have me. Oh, boys and girls, I told myself I was going to wait two weeks, not less, but not more than two weeks before re going at or replaying Minsk and Boo, Timeless Heroes. This one is. A whole lot of fun, and I have one particularly interesting card that I would like to get some nice use out of today. So we already know what Minsk and Boo is. It's been on the screen long enough. It's pretty nice um, because obviously it makes Boo really bigger, but it also has drawing cards built into it with the minus two ability. Um, so the particular combo that I would like to get some nice value out of is with all will be one. Whenever you put one or more counters on a permanent or player, all will be one deals that much damage to target opponent, creature and opponent controls, or planeswalker and opponent controls. I assume it's worded that way so that if all of their targets, you know, are for some reason unavailable, be it Teferi's protection or Teferi's whatever the hell it's called, you know, um, yeah, we don't have to damage ourselves. Okay, so in addition to all would be will be one being something that I'm particularly interested in getting some um, combo value out of. I also want to get combo value out of All Will Be One and the Ozolith, right? Because if something that we are controlling dies, then the counters go on the Ozolith, right? That triggers All Will Be One. And then at the beginning of combat on your turn, if the Ozolith has counters on it, you can move all the counters from the Ozolith onto target creature. That is another triggering of um, All Will Be One. So I would love to see that. And then, of course, the icing on the icing on the cake would be if <laughs> Vorinclex was involved in any way, shape, or form with that, because that would just be silly, right? Double counters onto the Ozolith and then double counters onto the next thing. Yeah, forget about it. So um, the only change I made for today, I took Galta out of the um, extremely upper end because I mean, it's nice, you know, Minsk and Boo makes things bigger, so it's always a lot easier usually to cast Galta, right? I don't know, man. I, I don't know if it directly gets to our uh, goals here of flinging a giant freaking hamster at them. Galta's cool, but without haste, it kind of sits there looking pretty for a turn. It felt a little bit extra. Additionally, Clothis is kind of on the chopping block, but I mean... Graveyard hate, it's just so valuable when you need it. You know, man, you don't always need it, but when you need it, you're freaking happy for it, man. And we, we would only have Armored Scrap Gorger as our, um, well, and Frog Hemoth, whatever. Okay, you know what? Freaking whatever. Clothis is on the chopping block because we have two other sources of Graveyard hate. Let's just get right into this. Thank you, anybody who's here for joining me live, pre-recorded. Appreciate the viewership. Let's uh, wait for every single individual click to load for extra seconds. Okay, we're good. I really want some all will be one. I um I took out Galta. I took out maybe one other thing. I took I put in I think a fight spell and a mana dork. Um, the mana dorks are really important because a lot of times I would like to get six mana before casting the commander the first time. Because, um, you know, it, it's sort of a must kill type of thing. And we could protect it with Tamiyo's safekeeping or um, Veil of Summer. I don't know about this one. We go second, nothing to do until turn three. No. -uh. All right, Elish Norn is going to love exiling our stuff, so Guardian Project might be a nice thing for us. All right, cool story, bro. We're going to pray for Guardian Project. Destroy evil. All right, what a joy. Going one for one removal with them. Do we get Bloated Contaminator down? Yeah, I think so. Maybe they'll kill it with something that could also kill Guardian Project. What are you going to do, geek? Oh, wow. Did you believe it? The guy playing removal tribal. Wow, that's amazing. Um, okay. Um. 
not gonna lie, I lost out a little bit on this, not dropping uh, two mountains. Right now I can't get this up to level two right fast. Guardian project. It, it doesn't really make a difference now, but if it can um, get a uh, kill out of them that may have otherwise gone to our commander. We're honestly going to really pray that they don't have the mana tithe. Because we see that one wide open. I don't really see a point in going bard class here. Looks like they might have swords to plowshares or something for a uh, one mana there. Whatever. Alright, it'll make uh, that. Put the counters. Alright, uh, I think we will attack, right? I... Right, do we? Yeah, I don't see why not. Uh, they'll probably kill it, given that they're uh, a loser. So, <laughs> we'll get our damage in before it just drops dead to yet another exile. Nice, okay, and they venture into the dungeon again, cool. So that was the uh, one mana white spell they had open. Um, We're praying that they drop their commander. Um, because we do have Inscription of Abundance, kick a ball. What was that? Um, can't. What was that? Something about can't attack? Can't attack until your next turn. Well, it'll fight, I'll tell you that. It'll fight. Um, so let's see. Right, it still can't attack. Hang on. Yeah, okay. It can't attack. Very well. Um, well... Do I just Inscription of Abundance right now? Um, I think so. I, I was thinking of sacrificing it to draw cards, but... It was a 4-4. Four, four. We could have only gotten it up to a 6-6 six, six with this. I mean, I guess we could have fought it against Elish Norn and then sacrificed it at Elish Norn. Maybe that would have been better because we would have drawn six cards. All right, we're looking pretty okay here. Um, I think we're going to start by dropping that, doing this. Uh, Lightning Bolt is extremely good there. This thing will probably die. So why don't we go ahead and... We're probably going to want to draw cards here, right? Before it dies. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and uh, attack there. And they'll uh, probably gang block it. They won't kill it, though. Okay, interestingly, they didn't do that. Alright, um, let me see. I can bring them down to uh, just, just short of lethal. Hang on. Can we win... Can we win? No, we can't. All right, so this. Um, let's do red, I guess. Lightning bolt at not them, yes them. Probably this, honestly. All right, we'll just uh, go ahead, sacrifice. Draw a lot of cards. All right, and we'll go ahead and play Hardened Scales uh, and Pass Turn. <laughs> oh, God, it was fun being uh, mildly annoyed by you for a little while. Major mosquito vibes. Just suck a little bit of blood, be a minor nuisance, and then just fly away. Buzz, buzz. What a loser. He got shit on by somebody who's here to have fun, not ruin other people's time. Oh, God. Wow, that must suck for him. God, imagine if you were set out to be a nuisance and then you just got shit on like that. Oh, God, that could never be me. God, that could never be me. <laughs> Making thumbnails with shit like, Make them miserable! <laughs> In big text with an exclamation point at the end. That could never be me. Um, yeah, sure. I guess, right? We have a dork. We got a draw engine. It's pretty good. 
Uh, the draw engine won't necessarily get us too much because this won't enter. It's a creature, but nevertheless, you know, got a fight. Get a scry there. Uh, honestly, no. We have a fight in hand. That one's nice because it draws us a card. Hell yeah! Freaking Rusty Richardson. Big fat MTG Ultra Premium Club member right there. How you doing, man? Nice to have you. All right, thought sleaze. Um, it's pretty nice that we have a fight spell in hand. So yeah, they're gonna have to really think about that one. Um, because yeah, getting at Glissa is tough, but fight is a way to do it. We got this one that proliferates, which is pretty cool. All right, hey, we'll uh, do I put that down now? I might want to just drop this, because this is a really cheap um, trigger on Guardian Project, should that survive, you know. Um, Glissa does destroy target enchantment when it deals combat damage to a player, so we'll have to uh, yeah, be on the lookout for that. We don't have any lands in our graveyards. Um, Clothis, if it exiles a land, it'll add us mana. So, yeah, <laughs> that's important right now. <laughs> Uh, I think this guy pass. They have black market connections, which is just... <laughs> Damn, that thing is good, man. Ah, oh, Jesus, dude. Alright, that is very bad. That is extremely bad. Um, and I can't put this down because then they just kill it, right? So we'll go this one, best turn. Just about nothing else to do. We're, we're a little handcuffed here, unfortunately. Yep, 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 the treasure token. They didn't even draw a card. Not bad. Yep, uh... We won't block that, because very sadly, we <laughs> desperately need those guys. Yep, nice. Wow. Oh, boy. Yep, and they can put it up to level 2. I would assume that they top deck that, given that, you know, that has an on attack thing. Honestly, I think we need to, I think we need to save that. Or at least make them really invest for it. The problem is they're drawing so many cards and we're freaking just sitting here taking a dump. Yeah, this is bad, dude. This is really bad. Like, it's nice that that's a land, but it enters, you know, yeah. <laughs> that's really bad. That's really freaking bad, man. Um, I think we have to try this and it probably just fucking dies. They have four mana. I, I feel very confident in their ability to kill this at instant speed right now. I think if they do, we'll just concede because I'm... Alright, um... I think we're gonna pass turn. Because Glissa next turn will probably be a 4-4 and it'll destroy our commander. So we'll just pass. Um, I would assume Boo dies anyway, but we have to at least give ourselves a chance to defend our um, commander. It, at this point, it's just way too clunky. They have, um, yeah, we can uh, we can just leave. This is a, uh, it's not worth our time. We don't need to, uh, we don't need to sit here and uh, struggle there. <laughs> I think that's more than over with. It, the black market connections is going to provide them card draws and treasures, right? Their commander is going to draw them more card draws and prevent us from even going Guardian Project to get some of ours. Oh man, that black market connections. That's really good and it's rare too. So um if any of you guys out there are uh, I mean, what a value rare for black. It's about as value rare as like Guardian Project. It might be more value rare, you know. It's arguable. Both extremely good, of course. Uh no dork sucks. This is the first play. 
isn't really going to be good enough. I think we mull that. Come on, dude. We're going <laughs> to... We're going to take it and we're going to be happy with it, damn it. Do we get rid of Halan and Elena or Ozolith? Ozolith might be too extra. I And I really like the Ozolith, guys. I, I It pains me. It does. I want the source of interaction and smell fear. Bar class is going to make it pretty cheap to cast Halan and Elena. We're going to resolve that next turn. I'm gonna go ahead and get one whole entire damage in there. Boom. Dude's got the Tamio avatar on a blue white deck. Nice. Okay, so if we top deck a land. Yes. Thank you. Bard class level two. Halan and Elena now cost two colorless. It's a beautiful day. We hope it stays around. We got it out while they were uh, tapped out. It entered with an additional plus one, plus one counter because of level one. That's good. We like that. Okay, they're tapped out again. Unfortunately, we don't have artifact and enchantment destruction, so they could hit a um, river's rebuke and, hit and get a nice reset on us. With a land drop, they could do that. That'd be extremely good for them. We're going to go this one. Uh, do we want to draw the cards? No, I think we just want to smash as hard as possible. Uh, this. We're not attacking with Llanowar Elves. Because we want to uh, severely impact their mana capacity. They have six right now. If we can take this away and they don't draw... Oh, never mind. They have one in hand. Um, I think we should still do it, honestly. It takes away land from them. Alright. They Doomblade. We're going to make another huge one, so... Okay, one gets rid of Lanoir. If only we could give Halan and Elena trample or haste, right? Never it's too tiny. Okay. Yep, there you go. Rivers Rebuke, hand. If we had top decked the land there, we would have won. All right, they're tapped out. If we top deck the land, we win. Sit. We will break evil's bones unless it's bones. We push. Ooh, oh man, damn! Minsk and Boo freaking slaps when it it it. it that's why it's a muster move, man. I mean, three plus one plus one counters. Damn. There's actually a Vivian Planeswalker. Um, it costs six. I don't remember which one it is. There's a few that cost six. And I think all of them put plus one plus one counters. But this one puts like three plus one plus one counters with its plus ability. And then um, I think its minus ability lets you like reveal cards until you reveal a creature card and put that into your hand. Not super great. I don't particularly like the emblems. I, I never see anybody using it, but, you know, far into the future, if I have Mythics to spare, I would like to put that as, like, you know, a vanity purchase, I suppose, if you will, into, you know, like, the counters-based strategies, because I do think that, like, you know, three plus one plus one counters on a plus ability, you know, with Vorinclex, like, come on. Um, we have to pass on this one, I think. 
it, it, it was kind of nice. We can probably take this. Um, we're up against Winota going first, which sucks for us. Uh, actually, let me hold that and do uh, that for right now. All right, well, it's Winota next turn. Joy. Honestly, I probably should have done Cal the Ambush, but you know, Cal the Ambush can fight their commander if they if they don't get off to a great start. They're missing white, so reclusive taxidermist. Looking like a good target for their removal. Well, now they have white. Nice. Okay. Yeah. They must have top decked that, because I don't understand why they played this instead of that last turn. Alright, so with four mana, possibly, we can't really do anything, so I think maybe it's just, um, is it Selvala? So drop Cal the Ambush, or, no, I, I think at this point I want to keep Cal the Ambush. Um, I think it's Selvala Pass. We need two uninterrupted turns to get really set up here. That's going to be a big issue. They get a card out of that. That's actually pretty good for them. I honestly don't even think it's worth blocking that. Oh, God. Oh, it's you again. Oh, first of all, thank you. <laughs> it's nice to have you, Lana Berry. Thank you for stopping by. Um, what am I going to do? What am I going to do, you guys? Hang on. Hang on, you guys. No, I can't get Selvala activated any anymore. Okay, so I have to do this. Straight into this. Oh boy! All right, this at least becomes a five-five. But if they want, they can kill our commander. But it will cost them like the two-two and the one-ones, and they'd have to block with Winota and possibly lose her. All right, they destroy that, which is annoying. But really, that's fine. I don't think any of us are crying over that one. They only have one mana. That's probably something that they could have done main phase two. All right, so just a token attack so that they uh, trigger Winota. All right. Well, they're keeping Winota safe. That's why we kept Cal in the ambush all this time. It'd be lovely if they whiffed. Is that Angrath's Maraud? Oh, that's really bad. That's really fucking bad. Um, we'll just block, I guess, this one. Angress Marauders doubles the amount of damage that they do. You know what? Honestly, since we're going to lose it anyway, do we just block that one? But then I wouldn't really have a good count. You know what? No. Hang on. I got this. I got this. Let's see if we can... Okay. It does suck that they got that down. I'm not even going to lie. That's pretty wild because it doubles damage. Um, yeah, that's really good. That's a huge issue. Um, that is a huge issue right now. We do have this, though, which can force them to possibly have to block. Um... Let's see. Um, we can do Nath, pass through combat. Um, and no, that won't work. So I think it's going to be this. Draw a card. Kogla's pretty good. All right. We're, we're going to use some sort of surprise Cal in the ambush here. Attack with this. All right, I don't think we can use a surprise count in the ambush, right? Because they, they deal double damage to us, right? Um, so do we want to kill Laron? Does it really matter? I don't think it really matters. Um, so we only get a 1-1, one, one, which sucks. But at least it's a um, 
a blocker for this. It doesn't have trample. Oh, boy. What are we going to do here? Um, we might want to hold Cal the ambush for Winota, um, but we don't have anything really good to fight against it, which is a huge problem here. That is a really huge problem. I think it's just Naeth and then Prey. Uh, why don't we uh, end the turn? Because Naeth can double the uh, the power of, like, Quartzwood Crasher. That Angrath's Marauders was such a great hit for them. Curse of Silence conceivably on our commander. It would be quite a crapshoot to just name <laughs> one of the 99 cards. All right, there you go. They found it in the list there. I assume they swing with the tokens and possibly Laron. If they swing with Angrath's Marauders, I'm blocking it with Naeth and the 1-1 one, one token. That's how bad I wanted to get rid of it. And, like, they should not have tapped out. They should have played that after main phase, because then, like, I could think, you know, oh, what if they have a Lightning Bolt or something? They should not be tapping out like this. Please whiff. Don't don't get the most amazing thing like you did before. It has fucking double strike. Attacking creatures you control have double strike. Okay, dude. Uh, yeah, that's, uh... Okay, dude. All right. Nice. Damn it, dude. Attacking creatures you control have double strike. And they're dealing double damage. Okay. Okay. I get it. You win. <laughs> okay. Wow. Woo! Damn, dude. The double double. Wow. That's, uh... Okay. That's Winota for you guys. You play like shit, you still fucking win. <laughs> Kinon. Okay. I mean, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, yeah, no, okay. You know, I have a huge two-drop pile. Uh, okay, okay. Um, yeah, we're going to take this, definitely. Um, do I start with this one or this one? I, I guess this one. Uh, that's not terrible, honestly, because it can get us a land off the top, um, wherever that is. It's under my text box. So I'm sorry, I can't read it to you in my beautiful voice. I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, that sucks for you. Definitely great that we have Arnie Slays the Troll and Domri's Ambush. Not even gonna lie. Like, that is really cool. Um, why don't we start with this and see if we can get a land off the top? Okay, we don't get the dream. Cest, La, Vi. Nevertheless, that'll give us a nice Domri's Ambush on Kinon. Whenever it decides to show up. Oh, boy. All right. Um, we probably need to kill this because that'll put creature cards from hand onto the battlefield that we know Kanan's going to have ungodly monstrosities. Um, yeah. And if you don't know, now you know. Um, why don't we start by attacking? Because they're, they're not going to uh, block with that, very obviously. Like, let's be real. Come on. Um, you know what? We're going to do Karyatid. Is it Domri's Ambush? It's probably Domri's... Eh, maybe we should wait for that to do Halan and Elena Domri's Ambush. Maybe we'll do Arnie Slays the Troll. Because Arnie Slays the Troll Chapter 2 also adds a um, mountain. Although it does put two plus one plus one counters. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wow, dude. Okay, so he must have had a handful full of freaking ungodly monstrosities and not a really good way to cast them, because he clearly didn't have enough mana dorks. I mean, he folded to me not even killing his commander. That's too bad, dude, because it's, now it's back to hell tier. 
Oh man, enjoy the enjoy the onslaught of Teferi's and Nickel Bolas's and Bo Baral's. Oh god. That's honestly the reason that I don't play Halana and Elena as a commander. Like I have the deck here. I've I have the video, one whole entire video, because I spent that uh, I spent that stream fi fighting fighting to fairies. <laughs> Sorry, it's just monotonous, man. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good hand, right? It's a good hand. I think this one probably first. Uh, yeah, I think so. We'll say hello to that person there. Look, it, it went through. I, I am sociable. All right, that, um, that I think, past turn. I think I'd like to keep this. Um, so why don't we drop this? We'll go Loam Speaker and Harden Scales here, I believe. I know Kalni Ambush might have been the better drop there, but I think I really want the chance to fight Taunos, which is a 3-5, so that's pretty good, but um, Hardened Scales plus Minskin Boo, right? That thing would become a 5-5 the first turn it's out. Here's the question. If I get an untapped red, do I drop Fire Emancipation? Probably not. That's a little premature, if you will. Behave, everybody. Um, nevertheless, we see them tapped out, so pretty good opportunity to uh, resolve the commander. Let's go ahead and uh, attack. We will not drop Cal in the Ambush. Even though it could get us Fire Emancipation next turn. Wait. It could get us Fiery Emancipation next turn. Should I drop it? I think so, honestly. Their commander does cost five, so it's two out. Or, it's two turns out, excuse me. This one, next one. Do I? Oh, boys and girls. Oh, God. H hang on. I I'm sorry. I Just say a prayer for this person. Um. Say oh, this, this poor, poor guy. Just boys and girls. Um... Boys and girls, this is going to be terrible for this guy. Oh, God, and that's... Poor guy, that, that's awful. That's truly awful. That's tr that's tr that he can't, he can't. Or wait, he can, because he would block three of this damage. He, it would deal triple to this, but only six of this would get through. So he would take 18, oh, and then he would take three from this. Oh, boy, that's 21 damage if he blocks that. That was nice of him to say good game. Oh, wow. So sorry for uh, going a little nuts there. But when I when I see the opportunity to play Fiery Emancipation, I get excited. Please forgive me, but I am, at the end of the day, but a Timmy. Oh, God. Now, let's get to the important questions, okay? Forget this Magic the Gathering nonsense. It's just a silly card game for Turbo Virgin losers like me who are pathetic and have never talked to a woman in our lives. Um, do I like... Pineapple on pizza. Okay. It, this isn't as simple as a yes or no, Lana Berry, because I'm not even going to lie to you when it comes to that shit. I'm fucking weird, and sometimes I like to put it on display that I can eat weird things with each other. Um, so I don't really mind it. As long as there's, like, a bunch of marinara sauce. I don't like it with, like, cheese. Cheesy pizza. For some reason, I'm okay with it, but I, I would prefer it without pizza. But the thing is, like, I'm weird. Like, I, I can eat weird things together and be fine with it, and I do that for, for fun to gross other people out at the table. My favorite one is birthday cake and whatever else is available at people's birthdays, and I'll, I'll just throw, like, fish onto the birthday cake and eat it J just to watch them groan. Lana Berry says it's a good topping. Like, it's not bad at all. And I would like to extend this out to the big fat bastard universe. Anyone else like pineapple on pizza? Are you violently opposed? Some people are violently opposed. 
Okay, nice. We get to hold Besaju in hand. We get to drop Oracle. We do not. Um, do we drop this? We might want to drop this for Minsk and Boo purposes, honestly. Did you see how smart I was there waiting for post-combat main phase to drop my land? Did you see how good I am at Magic the Gathering, you guys? God, I'm so good at this game. He's going to tap down the Armored Scrap Gorger, I think, here. So we need to get kind of lucky. I mean, he could plus it, but then the thing's going to die. Right? Because it's a minus two. Oh, choose up to two target creatures. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, what a loser. Oh, boys and girls. Sometimes it's just that easy against these freaking empty heads. Oh, God. It's really just that easy. Wow, you know what? Why would you keep that? Why You should have conceded earlier. The only person's time you wasted was your own. If you had absolutely nothing, why don't you just take another mulligan? Jesus Christ. Untap.gg. You can copy and paste as hard as you want. They don't tell you what to do once adversity comes around and rears its ugly head. Oh, God. But I didn't copy and paste that information from the top net decks. Oh, God, that's okay. That's okay, buddy. By the way, I shit on untap.gg, but I don't often say what you should actually do. Just watch people play vi play uh, the game. Legend VD, he, he's got like over 100,000 subscribers. He's actually pretty darn good at the game. And he will sit there and like take you through his thought processes. So he's actually super useful. Um, I'm, I'm sure most of you don't need to hear this, but maybe somebody does. But yeah, he's actually really good. Don't don't fucking fall for that trap on tap.gg. They're a business. Why would they want to make you good at the game so that you don't need them anymore? How do you think they get all that money to sponsor all these streams? <laughs> By making people not need their service anymore? Come on. Uh, what are we going to do here? Pro um, probably has to be heroic intervention. It could be Vivian, but I don't know, man. Arboreal Grazer. Jesus, dude. Nice. Dude's off to a clean start there. All right, we got Hajar. That's good. Uh, the token that this makes is legendary. So Hajar is kind of nice in this one. That thing's really cool, man. Probably holding open removal there. Um, just go ahead and drop this pass. Could have dropped Hajar. I feel like it just drops dead. All right. Beautiful. Well, now we need to use a braid. Which is fine, because we don't have to sacrifice casting Vivian for a braid. They are getting a, uh, a nice shuffle on their library. But they already played an extra land. Oh, God. Rookie mistake. That's okay. Damage to you. We can't not do that. I mean, the thing is, like, they do have artifacts that allow them to play lands from their, uh, from their graveyard. So a braid is super good against them. Nevertheless, Oracle of Moldaya. I play it to great effect enough. Card needs to go. Alright, what exactly are we going to freaking do here, man? We might want to wait a turn. We could also go Vivian. I have a plan to get rid of that, though. Pass turn. My plan is Minsk and Boo create the token, right? It's a, uh, what would it be? A 4-4. Four, four. Then we tail swipe against our, um, against our, or against this, sorry. Right? Um, and it would be a 5-5 five, five because it gets plus 1, plus 1 if we cast this during our main phase. And then we would sacrifice Hajar in response to that to give legendary creatures we control the hamster plus 1, plus 0, making it a 6-5. So please do not kill Hajar. Pretty please do not kill Hajar. God, 
<sighs> that is extremely bad. Just make sure that it leaves, um, oh, okay, it leaves Arcane Signet open. Okay, that's good, that's good. Yeah, let's do this. I think we have to now. Go for the ice, boo! The ice! Right, because next turn, um, they'll probably attack Minsk and Boo with, uh, both of these, right? So we block the Gitrog monster, fight this. Do we need to fight that, though? I don't know if we really need to fight that. Because this would still live, right? It would be at two. We need an incredible top deck because this is bad. The good news is that they can't play lands from their graveyard yet and they have to sacrifice them to this thing. But now they're drawing cards, right? Whenever one or more lands are put into your graveyard, like from Harrow there, wherever the hell it is, it's on the stack... Yep, they'll draw a card, so that's pretty good. Hopefully it keeps eating their lands, though. We can keep them from commander tax. I need this off the field for, like, two turns in order to uh, gain a foothold. They exile our graveyard. Okay. I would assume they get Trog Monster and Ravenous Chupacabra, attack at our commander. Okay, well, they're ramping pretty hard now, so that'll be some nice commander attacks for them. This will cost seven next time. They have more than plenty. Okay, just that. Block. Not the best, not the worst, not the best. Um, are we going to play Vivian? I think so. I think so. A land is actually fine because open drill. Um, this is a cheap blocker, though. That is a cheap blocker. What do I do, man? Yeah, it's a cheap blocker. We might need it, because if they draw a kill spell, we can still block. Um, pass turn. Right? Yeah. The fight spell needs to be earmarked for their commander, I think. No attack. If we get really lucky, we can just chump with Lanawar Elf and leave the uh, boo token. Come on, baby. Come on, let me just chump with Lanawar. Come on. Feel the tension in the air. Kiora's face in this avatar is super masculine. It's really distracting me. What a strong chin. I, I'm sorry, it doesn't matter. I, it, it's just, it's so masculine. It, it's just, it's distracting me. God damn it. Not again. That sucks, dude. That freaking sucks. Nice. Uh okay, fine. I mean We can drop Clothis and start eating their graveyard. It's probably the right time to start doing that. Clothis, when it exiles a land from their graveyard, adds red or green. That could help us pay for this if we also draw a land. Christ, on Now he draws another card.
Is there anything, like, important that I should get rid of here, or is it just, like, a bunch of lands? Terramorphic Expanse is probably the best one to get rid of. Okay, I assume they attack Minsk and Boo with only the Gitrog monster, because they're a pussy! Oh, dear lord. They're going to draw everything, man. They're just sacrificing, like, all the Mario. Alright, this is a... Uh, oh, boy. They're not going to do anything else this turn, but... Yeah. That's a lot of... Oh, boy. Okay. Wouldn't it be funny if he didn't have any more lands? I'm sure they're running, like, 40, maybe even more. I haven't really taken a good look at a Gitrog monster list. I, I, I doubt they're running Azusa number of lands, of course, but still. It's got to be at least 40. Good lord. We'll hit Resolve All on that one, I think. Oh, whenever one or more lands are put... Oh, I thought it was whenever... One land. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. All right. Can you attack with the Ravenous Chupacabra, too? Come on, you're such a bitch. Thank you. Um, I, I think I need to block. I'm not guaranteed being able to cast it um, next turn. Even though Clothis will probably add us a mana here. I mean, Branching Evolution's pretty fantastic here. Let's be perfectly real. I might want to take... Uh, yeah, I should probably take this out, just in case they can recast it. Like, we can't have them recast that, you know? We don't need the extra mana here, because we just need, like, four mana. It'd be incredible if that survived. Incredible. And please, for the love of God, don't draw the freaking answer. They get two draws, of course. Please don't draw the answer. Come on, I just got something super good after... Oh, man, dude. Please, for the love of God. What, is that Lair of the freaking Hydra? That's Evolving Wilds. Do they have... Yeah, here's Lair of the Hydra. They have 10 lands, so as of this precise second, they can do Lair of the Hydra, X equals 8. Although this is Evolving Wild, so that's not going to be tapped for land. They'll draw a lot of cards here, though. I see this one, too, if they'd like to do that. Yeah. Please. Fine. Now they have to invest in recasting their commander. They have seven mana available because this ain't tapping for mana, so they can tap out and do that. Or they can turn Lair of the Hydra into a creature. I'm going to mouse over their commander to try to suggest to them subliminally to do this instead and not over... Okay, well... We don't lose that, because you can choose target non-land card. Value three or less. We're good there. For now. Let me mouse over his commander again. Come on. Don't do Lair of the Hydra. I think he, I think I saw him uh, highlight Lair of the Hydra, and that's too bad. Come on. Let's distract him. All right. Damn it. Oh! <laughs> been there. I've been there. I've done that plenty of times myself. We all have. Poor guy. He's still going to win. That is funny, though. Oh, God. He's got to be kicking himself in the nuts.
Cause, cause he looked at this land. He looked at this land and thought he had it. That's why. Ah, oh, poor guy. And that's terrible. That is terrible. That is terrible. Um, he doesn't have any weird flashback stuff, right? Okay, no. So we can probably just get rid of this one. Uh, it, it doesn't really matter. We, we don't have enough to do anything much with this. But we can do this. We get a great discount on the Great Henge here. Uh, great Henge. Large and in charge. Um, nice, and, uh, do we attack with just the hamster? Yeah, just the hamster. Poor guy. Beginning of your upkeep. Sacrifice it unless you sacrifice a land. Okay. Let's take a look at what they got here. They got this one. That's good. Hive. That's good. Doesn't that get menace? Shit. Forgot that that gets menace. You should do it. Let's mouse over it again because maybe he'll maybe he'll tap it in its activation cost and screw up the exact same way again. Let's let's mouse over it. Let's try to do it. It didn't work last time. Let's try again. Yeah, it's it's a top at least for me. I mean, this dude's drawing two or three per turn. I'm drawing freaking one, but yeah, oh Jesus, we're there, dude. We're I feel the tension, dude. Feel the tension. All right, he finally gets it out of our hand. There you go. Yeah, he, he had to do that. That was a good play. All right, you can uh yeah you can pass out of combat because you're not attacking. I'm telling you that you are not attacking. Um, we could just get rid of like this or something. There's so many lands in his graveyard. I don't know if going turn by turn we're gonna get them all. I think he'll always have something to take out. Now, what am exactly am I gonna do here? Um, because we only have Bard class. I could sacrifice this thing and draw a lot more. A lot more cards, you know? And then I'd probably get a creature train going there. I think we are going to do that. We're going to sacrifice this, kill the Gitrog monster. That's what we're doing. Wait. Hang on, can I cancel that? Okay, no, I can't. Whatever, I don't care. I, I should have attacked first, honestly. That was, that was bad. I, yes, I should have attacked. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. We now get the draw train going. <laughs> what? I just evened the score, man. Oh my god. This dude is kicking himself in the freaking balls. Wow, man. Wow. Oh. Wow, dude. And it's not like that was a quick one. You know, not a lot of time until they made the mistake and then it's over shortly after. That one probably took like 15 minutes. Wow. Wow. Well, yeah, I should have attacked, but it was honestly a power move. Dominance established. Wow. That guy actually cucked himself, though. Like, not even that poor guy. That, oh, God. And once again, remember, I've done it, too. I said it right away. I've done it, too. Okay? Hey, you've probably done it, too. But that was funny as hell. <laughs> oh, no, at the worst time. Oh, man. Oh, poor guy. Now oh, this stupid garbage. All right. And they go first? You can't even give me the decency of letting me go first? All right, we're up against four-color Gristlebrand here. 
Let's see. We'll go ahead and keep. Interestingly, Mono Black Atroxa went straight to Hell Tier, but Four Color Gristlebrand here. Um, for some reason, they need to collect data. <laughs> Just kidding. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, nudge. They need to sell. Hurry up, asshole. Alright. Um, we can probably... Do we scry away lands? I, uh, I kind of like that one, honestly. It can kill a mana dork. Not that they're getting those on the field. Okay. Um, okay, so just do a... We're going to have to pray for that. All right. Well, since they got Rusko down, I, I, I was considering Oracle of Muldaya. Now it's just straight Chandra. We kill their Cuxo, Cock Taker. Nice, we like that, very good. They they are damn near their commander though, and that sucks. All right, can I hear sound? Thank God I can hear sound. I don't need this. All right, thank goodness gracious. Um, is it Oracle? It's probably got to be Oracle. Damn it. Alright, we'll have to take a look at what they have, because All Will Be One could do a decent job against them. Um... That's not the greatest, to be honest. So we can probably stick with this one. This is only going to add three, four... This... Okay, so if we get all will be one down and then drop this, we'll be able to deal a full seven damage from all will be one to their commander. And then they'll just cast it again. Granted. <laughs> I, I... Yes, of course. Um, we can do this, though, right? This and then Ocelot is pretty good. We just have to pray that it lives. Um, did I miss something in here? Do they have the ability to get rid of it? Um, they can get rid of the Ozolith, with which might be very good for them. They can cloud shift their commander. That's good. Is that instant speed? Yeah, that's instant speed shit. That'll screw up our all-will-be-one play. I think they might be just about set, to be honest. I think they could just sit here and swing and defend. Because they have to tap out of white mana for us to kill Atroxa. Yeah, we're good. Yep, yeah, there you go. We got the hell out of those. That two, three minutes. We'll take it. There you go. Some scumbag got their win. On to the next one. There you go. I hope you guys enjoyed the part where we killed Rusko. Because that was our only highlight. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, damn, that dude went straight into Atroxa, man. Nice. The nice into the north play there. Second turn, went first. That was, that was good. Uh, we could take this. Why the fuck am I up? Is our commander, like, borderline held here or something like that? Okay, um, we could go Branching Evolution. We could... Yeah, I, I like Branching Evolution. It was that, or drop this tapped and then do Incubation Druid. Alright, that's phenomenal, because that'll get... We'll have six capacity for mana next turn if everything lives. And then we can go Commander and um, Protect It with Tamios. 
Surely they will hold up a kill spell for the commander. Please hold up a kill spell for the commander. I have two dorks, and you have to assume that I'm going to drop a land. All right. We should get at least one use out of our commander here. A2 life. Big counters. Magic. <laughs> we have masters. Got the Tamias. Shocked we didn't see a kill spell. Nice, yep. Add one man of any color. Beautiful. Okay, they got three capacity for mana there. Oh, and it's all for naught. All for naught. Um, alright, well. We're going. We're going for it. Can I activate this only as a sorcery? No, okay. I can activate it. Instant speed, good. Pass turn. At this point, Tamios protects the hamster, not the planeswalker, so we can get lethal. Please don't hit farewell. If they hit farewell, the planeswalker's fine. I just realized I could have done that last turn and forced them to block. God, sometimes they just make it so obvious when they attack in with those things like that. <clears throat> it's okay. We're, we're lucky that we had the Tamios there. <clears throat> we are quite lucky. I mean, that was perfect. For, not perfect, but, I mean, come on. Turn, we went first, turn one Lanowar, straight into a, a nice payoff for it. The Elder Dragon War. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that just, that went super smoothly for us. And they didn't even kill the Planeswalker, so we had to, we got to keep Tamio's safekeeping to clinch the game there. Damn. Tatiova. Yeah. Jesus, wow. I love it when board wipers get wrecked. Oh, God, yeah, good taste, man. It's, uh... What a feeling! Oh my gosh, yeah, I love to do it. I love to do it. Alright, we got, uh... We go first, we're happy with that. We only have one dork. We're hoping to get a nice uh, land top deck. Alright, they're, they're already ahead of us in lands. Okay, we get a really nice top deck there. We like that. Whole heck of a lot. If we can drop Fire Emancipation, I'm going to be so happy. So happy. Um, we should probably drop Hajar, I think. Yeah, Hajar pass. This will tap for two mana once we control a creature with power four or greater. I like it in this deck because Minsk and Boo, the turn it comes down, the hamster can be a 4-4. Uh, four, four. All right, they get their land drop. Will they drop Tatiova? No. No. They're holding open counters. Pussy. Um, all right, well, we'll start with uh, attacking with Hajar. Do we bait the counter with Minsk and Boo, or do we go Vivian Reed? All right, pussy. Go ahead. Nope! Wow, really? I, I'm shocked. I'm usually always 100% correct every single time. That's wild. Can't believe I'm not correct. Eh, Fabled Passage might be a little better there. It'll bring in the land untapped. Draw two and then a land from hand on battlefield. Nice. Hey, at least they didn't do that while Tatiova was down. Then they get another land, another draw, whatever it is. 
Wow, they are ramping for it. And they're keeping one land untapped. How are we feeling about Kogla, boys and girls? Let me just get a green right fast. Bring our capacity up to six. As much as I'd love to drop Thorn Mammoth on them, or hell, even Fire Emancipation. Fire Emancipation is going to be better when we actually have stuff down to, like, win immediately. Uh, you. I've seen things that would Wonderful, beautiful Vivian Reed getting us cool stuff. Uh, you know, Clothis is going to come in indestructible, interestingly. I like Clothis. We are doing... Do we do that? No. Actually, yes. It might give them a false sense of security that we already dropped Kogla. And then it, uh, you know, puts pressure on their artifacts and enchantments. And then we'll just attack. I don't know if... I don't I don't know. Maybe I should have played Kogla at Clothis. I don't know. They better use that right now. They better. They can reverse rebuke here. Okay, they're looking good here. They're looking real good because that's a lot of mana. They might just pop off all the way here. In this land, we are all, connected. all right, they're gonna untap that one. Yep, nice. Good god. Alright. At least we have an untapped blocker. Well. Pray that they don't pop all the way off, boys. Alright. Can it be my turn, please? I have a lot to do on my turn. Good lord. I mean, at least that was expensive, but they still have seven mana. As a matter of fact, Nyssa makes it more than that. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. Oh dear, okay. So we have to have Thorn Mammoth come in and fight Nyx Bloom Ancient, and then Kogla destroys the Chromatic Orrery. The land shall conquer you. Good god. Well, now I have to kill that thing. I mean, do I have to? Do I have to kill that thing yet? It sucks that we can't use Vivian right now. But I do have Thorn Mammoth. I do have Thorn Mammoth. It comes in, it fights this, right? It, it sadly doesn't live. I could Hajar in response. We might want to Hajar it, to be honest. That might be the only way to get rid of Scoot Swarm. Um, and then Kogla can come in and fight probably, or attack that, honestly. Yeah, that might have to be how it goes. All right, so that's how it goes. We're doing it. Full control. Alright, full control off. I'm good. Thank you, full control. Oh, wait. That thing's not legendary. Alright, well, I'm an idiot. Whatever. Um, we'll drop this. Um, Agla attacks. Um, you know what? Let's let's force them to block. Let's, let's block that. They'll probably only block with, like, the Scoot Swarm token. Um, we should probably do that. I think they probably have this. Yeah. Mm, damn it, right. Yeah, Thorn Mammoth isn't freaking legendary. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I think they probably have this, let's be real. If it gets to our turn, that'll be an incredible thing. At least I don't have to press spacebar. 
Okay. I mean, okay. I think at this point we're probably good. I mean, they have to kill Vivian, right? Because Coggle can destroy the Immortal Sun, so... Let's do this again. We'll take a look at the top deck, but we're we're pretty much done here, unfortunately. I'm I'm thinking I I do not think anything is gonna help us here. Yeah, oh two and that yeah, we're uh Yep, yeah, well done. We're done. We're gone. Yeah. Two plus one plus one counters on uh on a whole lot of scoot swarms. They're gonna make a bunch of them first. And then two plus one plus one counters on everything. Wow. And the Immortal Sun is just giving the Anthem plus one plus one. Wow. Yeah, that was, uh, damn, man, that was well done. That was well freaking done. So I guess I was right to drop Kogla the, the time I did. Just unfortunately, <laughs> I needed to get it out of turn earlier. I mean, the extra turns definitely was good for them, though. They got two extra turns, like, in a row. So I guess I got it out on time. It's just damn, man. Mm. So what? <laughs> they had extra turns. That was oof, oof. That was really good. Very well done by them. Uh, we can't have that right now. As much as I'd like to, we we need the land. And Goblin and Archimancer is phenomenal. If it lives. Okay, they'll hit our commander with that. It's fine. Annoying, but fine. I summon you, come on, Archimancer. This will come in untapped. We like that. Um, I would say Domri and then this next turn. Only punish you if they Arnie slays the troll. Not really good here since it's a fight on an enchantment. All right, we get through the turn and they don't cast anything. Okay. Um, do we do Chandra here? Do we do Chandra? I'm kind of feeling it. We're hoping for the land here. Primal might not really going to do it there. That's fine. That's not the worst thing in the world to lose. We do have a fight in hand, and Kogla's a fight on a uh, nice beefy boy. Okay, they got a target for their Dispark. Let's see if Kogla makes them regret them. What's this exactly? Let's see if they can drop a red. No red still. Oh, that freaking goofy shit. All right. Well, they don't have another creature to sacrifice, so uh What do you say we hit him with the old uh with the old monkey there, the old stinky hairy monkey. I like that. How about you guys? You like that? I like that. Now, we are at risk of a board wipe here, but if they do that, cast our commander. That's an artifact, so they need to kill Kogla, because Kogla is just going to attack and destroy that. Okay, yeah, that's good, that's good. They're probably looking for a board wipe here. So it would be really nice if we could get a human, because Kogla can make himself indestructible if we return a human to our hand. We don't have a human. Wait, you could have gotten a source of red. He must he must have gotten a board wipe there. Right? He could have just gotten a source of red. We won't answer to other kids. 
That's about it, though. I mean, we got 11 damage on the field. Four more is coming down right now. So that'd be negative one. Oh, wait, man. Even more. Thanks, Domri. Woo. Not negative one, negative two. Damn, poor guy, though. I mean, he missed his, um, his red the whole entire time. Since he didn't drop the red source after Diabolic, whatever that tutor was, I have to assume once again that he went for a board wipe, which is a, definitely right. You know, Crux of Fate or something like that would be great, but damn, dude. Wow, that really sucked for him. He needed the red. Never got anything going there. Only removal was D Spark too. Thank you, Kyle Scott. What's going on, man? Freaking big fat MTG OG right there. Always nice to see you, my dude. Oh man, we're running Minsk and Boo tonight. I love that shit. Oh man, it's so much fun, man. It's so just satisfying. Uh, we cannot keep this hand. Oh man. Oh man. Ah, oh, that, that that hurts. That hurts. Okay. All right, dude. What do I get rid of? Pro either one of the mana dorks or hardened scales. We might want to back up mana dork. I'm starting to think from all the commanders I'm facing that Minskimbu is like kind of health tier, kind of not health tier, maybe lower health tier. Because this garbage is a uh, hell tier. It's just, we might as well, what I always say is, um, you just take all the uh, lands in your hand, you drop them on the field, take everything that costs three and less, drop it directly into the toilet, garbage can, whatever, you know, put them on the barbecue, have a cookout, whatever you want to do, and then you just start top decking from there. Yep, they get rid of Tamios instead of one of the mana dorks. I can't imagine why. Right, just drop all the land you have, put everything three and below in the toilet. Hey, okay, okay, that's not bad, not bad at all. It would have been nice if it was untapped, because we could have resolved Chandra, possibly. That's really sad, though. Uh, No, let, let's wait to use it on their turn. Who knows if they'll play a flashback spell on their turn, or put something weird into the graveyard right now. What, 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 what? All right, Cuxo, Cocktaker. Bitch move. That's pretty insane, but that's not going to work for a commander. I think this and then just kill Cuxo. Feels pretty good to me. I knew you needed my help. Uh, we can go ahead and pass the turn on that one. If, if, if Armored Scrap Gorger lives to next turn, then we can start attacking with it as a 3-3. Uh, three, three. If, if, if. Even if they wipe, we're still getting a Cuxo out of their graveyard here. Please don't kill a whole lot of things with one card. Please. You're not even running green for casualties of war. Please. Someone hit a really good casualties of war on us earlier. I think that was the Gitrog monster, dude. Poor guy. He really deserved that game. But when you kick yourself in the balls like he did, it was hard to keep on fighting. Yep, take another second and reconsider that. Is that okay with you? Maybe they have instant speed Takanuma. That would be a pretty nifty play, not even going to lie. Uh, 
Uh, deals. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, dang. Yeah, nice, nice. That's a nifty play. Nice. Yeah. Good play. Sadly, that enters tapped. God, I hate you. I hate you. Why does it have to take forever to suck to face you? Should we just do... Um, I mean, should we try this? Because when it gets countered, and it almost obviously will, like, then we can do Rhythm of the Wild in this. I think we have to try this. I, I think it just gets countered. genuinely cannot believe my eyes if you told me that would happen i would say you were crazy i genuinely cannot believe that just happened we have look at the mighty mage over here fine we made it for free. They didn't kill the Planeswalker. Would have been nice to sacrifice it next turn, draw four cards. Especially because if they get a land drop, they uh, have their commander. And well, with this, they'll have it next turn. Uh, resolve all. And this does seven damage to target opponent, creature, or freaking planeswalker. That sucks. All right, that sucks. That does suck. Um, so I guess we'll we'll want Hajar down. So this. Go big. Or we probably shouldn't keep this open, big, right? It's super, but I still want to rematch. I got you, Kyle Scott. I absolutely got you. Oh, yeah. You will have your rematch, sir. Whenever you're ready, my man. Um, Let's see. We have one, two, three, four um, mana. M maybe Hajar should come in hasted. Should it? Should it? It should come in with a plus one, plus one counter. Because I think they would just trade with Rusko. Um, all right. And we just attack. Just this. Um, because I'd like to hold open the Inscription of Abundance. All right. End turn. What are you going to do, geek? All right. Nice. Oh, you're really good. You're the best. That's why you're playing control, because you're better than everybody. You're so good. God. I'm jealous. I wish I was good. But I'm not good. I suck. You're good. And your stupid name is really cool. Look at how cool you are, God. God. All creatures lose indestructible until end of turn. So I can't do Hajar before that, right? They lose indestructible and then... So wait, I can't do Hajar, right? I might as well just do it then. Um, Hang on. This. We're going to be difficult. And then they deal five damage to everything, is that? What is that exactly? Five damage? Five damage to each creature? We the ones. All right, I'm just going to do this anyway. I don't even give a shit. We're going to be difficult. It was us what got their bums kicked. All right, I mean... We'll send Lair of the Hydra at them pretty nice, but then they get their Planeswalker in, and that's really bad for us. So, um, one, two, three, four, five, six. We can do this X equals four. Yeah, this isn't looking good, though. Not looking good, boys and girls. 
They're they're inching up towards those midnight clocks. They'll probably get it next turn. So that that really sucks. Because, like, sure, they kill the hamster with their freaking Nicol Bolas thing. Sure, we swing at it at it with uh, Lair of the Hydra, yeah. Then they get a fresh set of cards, and then they're just going to kill everything and, you know, draw, 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 draw. So, yeah, unfortunately. Unless I get, like, a breed. The Eldest re Yeah, they haven't even touched that thing yet. I think we're good to go, yeah. We're not really going to uh, draw anything that's uh, going to help us there, unfortunately. It's the midnight clock. It's essentially, you know, like, nope, tribal. But, oh, man, the Rusko. Oh, man, not even the double Rusko. Only one midnight clock was going to go off, but that's enough, you know? Oh, man. Woo! Boy, oh boy, not going to lie, though, that game lasted longer than I thought it would have. But, yeah, we weren't going to do anything up against the Midnight Clock. I mean, we go first. I, I kind of like this. It's going to be Armored Scrap Gorger into a Guardian Project. We'll play it in roughly this order. Let's go. The guy's name is Lancelot. Nice. No numbers. No weird capitalization or like underscores or anything. Straight Lancelot. Capital letter. Right there. I like this guy. Capitalize the first letter. Salute. Alright. Now, what does this do? Whenever it attacks... Another target attacking creature gets plus X, X, where X is this thing's power. Okay, so combat tricks and anthem effects, I would assume. Sylvan Anthem, Ulvenwald Oddity, Cage Sun off the top of my head. Plus one, plus one counters, probably. Hey! hey me too! Oh, wow, big dorks. Oh, okay, he got Big Dork. Um, he got Big Dork. Um. Is it Gar Guardian Project? Or is it Gil It probably should be Guardian Project, honestly. It could have also been Cal the Ambush into anything else, but I, I kind of want to fight that. Okay, dude. Do you have a fight or something? Oh, boy. All right, well. I think maybe now is not the time to drop our commander. I think we might want to drop two cards here. Let's start with this one, honestly. And then we'll see if we get a land off the top. We do not get a land off the top. We do get a very good card there. Um, yeah, I thought this before Gaelic Greaves would be better because of the land. Alright, well, there's a land. Um, if our dork lives, and, well, if, if we live too, Kogla's going to be really good. All right, they're all tapped out, so I'm... Wait, this doesn't have first strike on my turn, right? I still think it's worth uh, getting this one, though. Even though we don't have first strike here. I, I still think it's the right thing to do. All right, that's definitely annoying. But we have Kogla. Hogla is a pain in the rear, and next turn we have another fight for their commander. We get to kill Werewolf Pack Leader here. <clears throat> Should we gain life? Uh, we'll fight that. 
Honestly, I'm gonna make the treasure token just in case. Because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and now eight. So we could do our commander and Cal in the ambush. Um, no attacks. Alright, so the greed wound up paying off there. We might also want to do Zopendrum and give Gallagher's a plus one plus one counter so that when it uh, its power and toughness gets doubled at the beginning of each combat, yeah, it's a 4-4. Four, four. Arnie slays the troll. Their commander is here right now. Is there anything like really good going on here? When you do destroy target artifact or enchantment, okay, well, we can't let that attack through. Do we just want to kill one of these? Let's see. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm kind of liking this right here. This. Just to start with a draw. See what we get. Uh, you start with the plus one, plus one counters, I think. Beautiful. I like this. Still got four... At, or five capacity, excuse me. Two life, just in case. If they get a weird anthem effect. We're going to be pissed off that we didn't, uh, you know, get some nice life there. Um, Arnie slays the troll, I think I'm kind of liking here. On one of their two twos. We're not attacking, so. As a matter of fact, we're passing turn. With Cal in the ambush open. That's, I mean, they're wide, but we're honestly looking pretty good here. I mean, this is going to be some suicide if you do this. Like, you have a 2-2 two, two as your strongest thing. I'm killing both of your 2-2s two with Kogla and a fight involving Kogla. All right, dude. All right. Well, we have to block this one uh, because that one deals combat damage, and when it does, it destroys a artifact or enchantment or whatever. Uh, yeah, we'll kill that one. Honestly, hang on. I'm sorry. I want to kill that one. Sorry. I don't want to have to do that again next turn. Sorry. Okay. Th I don't really care about that. Um, you block that. You block that. And uh, honestly, I don't even care about taking one. That's fine. Yep. You know what was going to happen next was a fight. Let me see. Did I? Yeah, I was going to fight that one. Okay, good. I left it unblocked. <sighs> he was mad because I took forever to block... I'm mad because he had the audacity to attack in at me like that. The only person's time he wasted was his own. Oh, boy. We did it, guys. We did it. It was a pretty cool aggro strategy, but fortunately, we had enough of a good start. We had, like, Kogla, Arnie slays the troll. I, I added, I think, I think it was one extra fight to this today. It might have been two. I think it was one. Feeling pretty good about it, though. I mean, that's why I have Naith in this deck, because we do have some amount of fights. LOL, not my 2-2. Two, two. Oh, yes. Yes, his 2-2. Two, two. Yes. Oh, we did it. We did it. He And he left because we got his 2-2. Two, two. <laughs> we did it. We got the 2-2. Two, two. This guy's name is Proctor. It's fun. Um, Honestly, fine. That's pretty good. I think we'll drop that right now. I love this one because hexproof. It doesn't always matter, but when it it does a lot, and then when it you're up against like red and black like this garbage, like you're gonna be feeling real good about it. 
that's annoying because we do have some nice creatures. And we do not have any fights. Yeah, Toski's good. Yeah. That's a good one. Is that okay with you? Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, no attacks. I would very much like to keep that. Because if we draw Tamiyo's safekeeping, we're going to be so happy with that. We did not. Nevertheless, do we drop Frog Heme if it doesn't really have anything in their graveyard for us to do yet? I, I'm kind of liking this. Here's what I'm doing, boys and girls. I'm attacking with that one and that one. And then you know what I'm going to do. Sacrifice that. Deal one whole entire damage to Valky. Suck a whole bag of them, buddy. Whole bag of them. <laughs> he, what he's off to do is suck a whole bag of them. I am above saying what it is, because, of course, this is a family channel. Bring the kids! Bring your old, conservative, religious grandparents and parents. Everybody gets to play on Big Fat MTG. A family Christian show. <sighs> it's funny because the black and red guy left the moment I did a one damage removal spell on his thing. He started it. His Valky exiled Toski from my hand. He started it. We're going to keep this, I think. We have Veil of Summer so that we can ramp to six mana, then cast the commander, and then do this when they try to counter it. We'll, we'll take that. All day, man. All day. Sadly, Domri only prevents our creature spells from being uh, countered. It's super good, though, because it's not even like, you know, the, the creature that this mana is spent on can't be countered. I love that it's just all the creature spells for the whole turn. Creepy uncles can watch big, fat MTG, too. They're encouraged. Yes, that's my target demographic. Oh, please. Bring, bring the freaking creepy uncle all... All of it. All of it. Alright, that's annoying. But if they want to sacrifice that to kill Arcane Signet... Go for it, dude. It's annoying that... Uh, I can't really bring out Domri there. I can, because it'll be at four, honestly. It'll be at four. Um, Then I can get the uh, I can get the payoff. Uh, past turn... So let's see if they attack Domery and then sacrifice that thing. They would have to earmark one mana for it. It does cost mana. Maybe they'll keep it for two turns. Just try to destroy Domery with it first. Alright, thankfully no plus plus combat trick there. All right, only Lanoir Elves, and still very conspicuously two mana. Fine. They want to kill it, you go for it, dude. They still have extremely conspicuously that one mana up. Um, I should probably drop this tapped, right? Because I, I can't risk having the commander countered. Well, I have Veil of Summer in hand. <laughs> their commander costs four. Let's see if they drop a land, play their commander, and have a blue mana open. Because they only have one blue right now. So if they don't cast their commander here, I will be very suspicious. Okay, well, they tap out. All right, <laughs> okay. 
Oh, wait, no, they didn't. They haven't dropped a land yet, I don't think. All right, let's see if they drop a blue. I guess not. Okay. I think I know everything, and I have no freaking idea. Could have ramped into, like, a river's rebuke. We'll see how that goes. This gives us and permanents we control hexproof from blue and black until end of turn, though. So it will pr protect us from um, river's rebuke. So, that is extremely good. So good that it might just get the concession. We'll see. If it doesn't, we'll just win. We have fire emancipation, so. Come on. Tap out for a river's rebuke. It's a good play. It's a strong play. You should do it. No pussy. No pussy. Suka blata. No pussy. Rebuke. Rebuke. Do it. Do it. This is the one time I want you to. Please. Pretty please. With sugar on top. Oh, he's stressing. Wow. The sweat is pouring down this guy's forehead. Okay, so far he's tapped his Lanoir Elf. Good start. Good start. Nice. Okay. Alright. I mean, the land's still going to come in tapped. You got enough for your commander still. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go get him. Go get him, buddy! Oh, man. Oh, man. The, the Veil of Summer feels so good right now. Not even going to lie. No commander! No commander! We've got him right where we want him, boys. Right where we want him. We won't answer to other kids. Well, brother. Well, that's a good one. You, you might want to counter it, bro buddy. Oh! <laughs> oh, I wasn't even trying. Oh, it's so easy. Oh, God. When you're better, it's easy. It's easy. Oh, God. He, look, he couldn't even get his name right. It's not two stones, one bird. That's not how the saying goes. Um, actually... It's two birds, one stone. Oh, God, Veil of Summer. Veil of Summer, guys. It's in here because I can't really make Minsk and Boo uncounterable like any other way. At least not in red and green, you know? There's a bunch of things that make, like, we have Rhythm of the Wild, for example, because we have a decent number of creatures. There's, like, some enchantment creature that makes creatures and enchantment spells we play on Castable. I just got Prowling Serpapard, which can't be countered, and also um, other creature spells we uh, control can't be countered. But yet, only that actually helps the Planeswalker not be countered. We go first. Do we like this? I don't know if we like this. We don't have a creature to use with this. this. This delays by one turn, and that's good, but then what? I think that's much better. Vraska is going to be a pain in the rear end. A royal pain in the rear. That one down tapped, then Lair of the Hydra. Reggie, I will pick you up in a moment, okay, Poophead? Give me a second. This guy's got good sleeves. I like him. Like him. Is his name? Hang on, let me let me get the accent right. Echem. Juan David Alfa Recano? Juan or actually no, it's not Juan David, it's Juan David Alfa Recano. How you doing, man? Que te pasa, huevong? 
Okay, what are we doing? Man. Um, do I need four mana? No, so I can probably just drop this tapped. Uh, we're not really fighting or anything, right? I'm not abrading. Am I abrading? Wait, am I abrading? Nah. I'll be real, though. If they don't have another um, land this turn, I'm going to be pissed off. They don't have... Okay, now I am pissed off. Um, should we abrade? Why don't we just abrade the uh, Paradise Druid? Yeah, because we were just going to swing in at this. We were going to bring it down to four, and then they wouldn't even be able to minus three it. Oh, boy. All right. Yeah, I screwed up not abrading the thing. I thought for sure they would have a land. I guess I screwed up. But nevertheless, since they didn't have the land, we pressed our advantage. And yeah. Reggie, come here. Come here, you little poop head. Come here. Yes, play. Okay, thank you. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Okay, I got you. I got you, Kyle. I got you, Kyle. King! Kuro! Hell yeah! Nice to see you, man. Thank you for stopping by. Oh, man. We gave uh, Cell Phone, I think that's what his name says there. We gave Cell Phone a nice free win. There you go. If anybody else wants to uh, challenge me, y'all go for it. There you go, whoever that's from. That isn't even from... Oh, King Kuro! Let's go, man! You're you're ready! All right. Um, let me just switch my deck right fast. I got you, man. If anybody else, once again, wants to face me, more than welcome. Oh, Min Minsk and Boo, not gonna lie. It is slightly degenerate. Always destroying people. Oh, good. Good, man. Good. Good on you, dude. Get him. Liliana. The last... Is that the one that pluses to give target creature minus two, minus one? I guess we'll find out in a second. Okay. Um... Fine. I think this is fine, right? We have this. This is good. He'll be listening. Sh oh, okay. Well, I would have kept that hand too. No more distractions. Let's make this quick. All right, um, drop that. See, we get there. Here. Yes. As a matter of fact, we will keep that. I've been working. I'm, or I am working on my Jarsil deck. Oh, let's go! Nice red green. I'll stop I can approve I of that one, answers. Mr. Scott. Very nice. Very nice. I like. What, when does this ult and what does it do? Oh man, all the zombies. Okay, all the zombies. Shoot. Right, he has that in two turns, so this, this is a little brutal. Um, how am I doing this exactly? This one might be the way to go. Um, it's going to be Bard class and then which one? Probably this one. Let's let's drop this. Yep, we're not playing that so that it can just drop dead immediately. <laughs> There will be no mercy on Big Fat MTG's channel. There will be absolutely no mercy here. No mercy will be shown. Have I made myself clear? Come on, boo. We're off on another Wait, it asked me if I want to do that? I've never seen that. Magic. <laughs> Is that some weird full control thing that just happened? Um, let's go ahead and uh, plus. Love to see it. Enters the battlefield, draw X cards. Okay, okay. Does this have death touch? Just flash, okay. Flash and one toughness. So that's fine. He will never rinse. Because it's too dumb. 
Now, now I'm much happier with where this thing is at. We had it at seven there. Back off. All right. We did it just in the nick of time. End turn. I will not play this and not have this. This is our ticket to victory here because he got a great freaking start with the, um, what's it called, Dark Ritual. This has Death Touch. Your day is mine to ruin. Um, what? Oh, because this this must be a different format. Okay. Um, this must be... I'm going to decline that. I'm going to play it like it's the alchemy version. That wouldn't make a, a token there. The alchemy version makes it so that we can't get a token if we are a control one. I think that's a little better. Um, and I hope that's not taken as disrespectful. Um, let's go ahead and drop a U, I think. Before a land. You and I are gonna take them out. Exile top card. Yeah, the haste, dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's a, it's a good card, man. It's a good freaking card. We will play that. The value. Um, this. You will put the counters here. And we will swing. There. And I will not use Hajar. We are taking a slightly pussified, but much more safe stance here. It's just... He, honestly, he kind of rattled me with that start. Like, when somebody dark rituals into, like, a three-cost planeswalker, and it happens to be Liliana, of all things, like, I'm sorry, but can you blame me for taking a slightly wimpy approach here? I'm not gonna lie, I think we beat the shit out of him. Okay, okay, okay. He's going for something. All right, all right. Board wipe is probably his best bet. What's... I don't even know what level three of this does. We're going to decline that. I, I just feel like an asshole for actually using that. Uh, we're going to get rid of uh, that, I guess. I don't know if it, he's saying good game because he's going to win or because I'm going to win. So I'm actually going to go through this. Like, we're going to see what's going on here because, yeah, we're going to uh, we're gonna drop that, I think. Sorry, if, if, if you're actually, like, serious and I actually didn't win yet, um, I'm sorry. Um, it's, uh, I can't pay. Just do this. Honestly, I should have... I fucked up there. I, I missed lethal, right? Because I should have actually attacked with this and then sacrificed it. I screwed up. That was my bad. Uh, yeah, sorry. Sorry about that. I, I I didn't purposefully prolong the game. I just fucked up. Yep, I got you with a rematch, dude. I got you with a rematch. Yeah, that was a that was a misplay, but nevertheless, and judging by that play, this one's probably about done. Jesus, I have so many freaking triggers, and now I have to do Naith. Alright, oof. Alright, should have won last turn. Alright, alright. Oh, damn. Yup, it happens. Damn, you, you freaking scared me with that start. Not gonna lie, you, you saw me, you rattled my cage, but, uh, yeah. Everything after that did go pretty well for me. I mean... That was that victory was brought to me by Bard class. Not even gonna lie, has <laughs> all Bard class. All right, man. I'll uh, I'll chill here for your uh, invitation there, and then we'll start up the next one. There it is. There it is. Yup. Except Minsk and Boo brawl. Minsk and Boo brawl. <laughs> Yeah, Liliana's... Oh, man, nice! Yeah, boy! Alright! Oh, dear goodness. I don't know about this one. I don't know, man.
scry. Uh, yeah, that's good. That's good. Because we're probably going to be up against a bunch of removal here, so card advantage is going to be our best friend. If I had dropped an Archimancer now, which was definitely the strongest choice, however... Well, it's the strongest card, I guess, out of all of these. But we wouldn't have an immediate payoff. Oh, that's good. That's good. He's got six mana right now. But we are dropping Minsk and Boost. So not going to lie. That one wound up really nice for us. Yes. Um, hang on. I'm going to say thanks. And now I will create that. Um... I figure if he wipes the board, the Hexproof isn't going to matter. Might as well get the two damage in. I wonder if it's going to be Liliana here. Because it's, it's good, but it's not super good. It would die immediately, right? Because we would definitely have two power on the field. I would sacrifice probably this and uh, maybe Paradise Druid. Move up to five counters. That, dude, that Veil of Summer is actually doing so much work on the stream today. Is is that... Come on, dude. Come on. And and we top deck that? Ah, poopoos. For X equals four. All right. All right. You got it. You got it. You, you did it. Yep. I'll tell you nice because that was... Shit, it was nice. Yeah, good backup plan. Jesus, you actually had the... Oh. Yep, resolve all. Yep, we're definitely going to do that. Have to. Magic. <clears throat> we have you know, honestly, Den of the Bugbear wouldn't even be the worst thing here because eh, it would create a creature, but yeah, then we'd just sacrifice the creature, so it wouldn't really matter. Never mind, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Oh, well, let's see. Let's see. He says, oops, let's see. Blood on the snow? Got a lot of mana here. Four, six, seven, eight mana. Phyrexian Obliterator. Magic? <laughs> we have masters. I must now think. I must... King Kuro, if you're listening... Thinking. How do we do this? How am I going to do this here? This isn't going to work necessarily this turn. Yeah, I'm not giving him all those tokens. Today's my lucky day. I wonder if he's gonna attack with that thing. If he if he plans to bring in Liliana, he attacks. Otherwise he leaves it as a blocker. No decayed, right? Okay, that's actually a really cool card. It's like a zombie Sylvan Anthem. I mean, not really. But that's pretty cool. It's actually very expensive, though. Alright. That should be about it. 
Actually, go big. Just go. Big. Yep. Poor guy. Down. Poor guy. Look at us. We are tough. I could have also just not done the counters and then, uh, <sighs> Probably shouldn't have done the counters and then just sacrifice the thing and draw all the deck. Yeah, dude, that was that was freaking Dude, I top deck all will be one. That was pretty crazy, dude. Wow. And I I top deck this open drill doubler thing, yeah. The Phyrexian Obliterator might have had me. I do Wonder what you would have done with attacking with it, don't though. I guess you would have dropped Liliana, sacrificed your tokens, made me sacrifice all of my stuff, and then you could pick off my planeswalkers with it. Okay, one more! And then he'll be good. Very well! I await your challenge. Whew. Once again, invitation if anyone wants to face me. More than happy to take anybody on. Woo! All right, boy. Dreadhorde General again. Very well. What do I do with this, guys? What in tarnation do I do with this? Because if this thing dies, we're screwed, man, right? As nice as this hand is, we need two lands to get somewhere good. This isn't going to do anything if this dies. I'm going to have to mulligan that, and I really like that hand. Oh, man. All right, all right. Let's see. Um, I'm going to drop this one first because I want the red on the left side into the green on the right since I have this here. Oh, wow. The feng shui. Feels good. Feels good. Do we drop this one? I, I, I feel like it might die. I'm sorry. I have to drop that one first. I don't know. I'm, I might be playing like a wimp because if, if that doesn't die, then I just denied myself this. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He, he, he might have screwed up there. Oh yeah. And game is hard. I wish I had a game is hard on the uh, chat wheel here. We're fit enough to survive. So at least we got this around cut down now. Probably ain't gonna matter considering Black's plethora of... Oh, oh, no. No lands. Ooh, boys and girls. He missed the land drop. Attention. Attention. He missed the land drop. We are done. Yeah, poor guy. Do you want to play another one? Um, I mean, if you, if yeah, well, if if you fucked up like that, we'll we'll make this fast as possible. I actually almost conceded right there. I have to binge MTG tomorrow. I'm gonna try to finish this deck and be dead. Good luck, man. Good. Oh wow, the Elder spell. Okay, well that was good. It still leaves us with some good stuff on the field, though. Not even gonna lie. We're going to do this first, um, into this. Let's see if we can get a Tamios. That's good, too. I look forward to facing your deck, Mr. Scott. Let's go, man. Yeah, Jarsal's freaking tough, dude. I faced one the other day. I'm not going to lie to you, Kyle. I talk a lot of shit when I'm up against Jarsal. I'm not even... I mean, I talk a lot of shit anyway. But, like, I talk extra shit up against Jarsal. Um, but, nevertheless, the other day I faced Jarsal. The, the dude did pretty damn well. And he had some interesting cards. Like, for example, he had um, Hajar from the Brotherhood's... Um, the Brothers War, or whatever the heck it's called. Yeah, that one was too... I agree with you. That wasn't really a game. That was an execution. Which is what the... Uh, 
which is what the current uh, corporate structure of Magic the Gathering wants. They just want execution, so that that's exactly what they want. But yeah, Hajar and Jarsal was pretty cool, you know, because you get your intensity up to two, and then you just, like, recast that thing that gives your commander indestructible straight out of your freaking... Oh, that's ridiculous, dude. He used Arclight Phoenix, too. And actually, Kyle, um, Jarsal is about to get an upgrade in March of the Machines. There's another Phoenix coming out. It's a two-cost two-two. And, like, it could come out of your graveyard after you pay an... In play any one instant or sorcery and all you have to do is pay one mountain right out of your graveyard gains haste 2-2 two, two flyer yeah no i'm not even talking shit king Kara. that's just like that's what it is like was it a back and forth contest or did one of us just put the other one like into the guillotine and then slice you know Although, it, now that I say it, yeah, okay, fine, it sounds like shit, but I, I promise that it wasn't, okay? Okay. You have nice sleeves, okay? See, I complimented your sleeves. I'm good. See, I'm, I'm a really nice guy. I'm not a fucking jerk-off. Oh, okay, okay, good. Just, as, long, as long as it's taken proper. Okay, okay, okay. When does this make you a mass? Beginning of your upkeep. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I'm feeling Signet Pass. Next turn, we can do this into this. Oh, yo, King Kuro, I just want to let you know something. I actually just noticed because this is how much attention I pay. My commander costs one less, dude. Um, you might want to look in the uh, options when you send the invite, and I don't know because I suck at sending the invites also. I always send it in the wrong format, but you might have selected Friendly Brawl. My commander costs one less, and it like you know it makes a token every turn. Even if I already control one of the hamsters, I still get to make one every turn. Um, just letting you know that like that's pretty wild that I get to do that. Um... I was like, why am I casting my commander for so freaking cheap? Because I don't read. That's why. That's why I play green, boys and girls. Oh, God. I really, genuinely don't read the cards. Alright, he's got capacity for five here. Oh, thank God. Alright. All right, he does not use it for commander, boys and girls. He does not use it for commander. We're going in. We're going in. We're going for it. Oh, boy. Oh, brother. Poor guy. All right, he's amassing, nice. How exactly does a mass work? On an army you control, so that you could probably put that on a changeling, right? We're gonna kill the army. Now he's to start at one one again. I'll let that happen. That's fine. Beware. This is a uh, what? Oh, sorry. Okay. All right, my bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. Okay. All right. Actually, go big. Just go. You know what? Shit. Sorry. I just realized I can just win. Okay, I see, guys. I Wait, I can't learn. Oh, no, I can't fucking learn. I can't minus 10. Oh, damn it. I fucking suck, dude. All right, I could have won. I'm sorry. I thought I was going to win by attacking and then freaking minusing it. All right, I'm sorry. Go ahead and fucking laugh at me. Yeah, that that's kind of shitty. I'm I'm sorry, dude. Yeah, poor guy. <laughs> yeah, that's that's really fucking annoying. Good games to you. That's yeah, that's fucking annoying, dude.
Yeah, I was wondering when you used Dark Ritual not on your commander what was going on. Yeah, that that's fucking annoying, my man. Uh... Yeah. It happens, my dude. It happens. For some reason, when I'm up against, like, viewers, I get really nice, like, not just lands, but just really nice balance of everything. And then I go back into Historic Brawl, and I just get shit on. Or, excuse me, this is a Christian channel, defecated upon, I apologize. In the name of the Lord, please forgive me, amen. I don't know if I should keep this. Turn two, turn three, then commander, turn four. That seems pretty late. But what if I mull into poopoos? I think I have to mull, though. God damn it, now I'm angry. You wouldn't like me. Oh, man. We do have inscription, though, to fight. That's not terrible. We have a braid, too. I'm going to keep it. The problem is both of our lands enter tap. That does kind of suck. So we're going to really hope and pray that this guy just drops a light foot naked with uh, no protection on right now. Light foot! Light foot! Oh wait, no, I can't, I can't kill that yet. Okay, I didn't draw the land. I'm, I'm, I'm pissed, guys. I'm pissed. I'm royally pissed. I'm very angry. Alright, that sucks. I don't know if it's going to have three toughness at the end of this turn. Yeah, I, I don't know about this one. This is uh, this is bad. This is penance for the previous games. We're probably about good here. To be honest, like I think it's almost already over. He dropped the naked Blightfoot and we didn't freaking have the... Uh, Really sucks. We have hardened scales and ozolith too. That's actually so nice. Oh man. I, I missed that first hand that I looked at. <laughs> Basically kept the same thing but minus a card. Still has one open. It could be like one of those save spells, like whatever it's called. Put a shield counter on it, scry one, instant speed. Alright, dude. I get it. Alright. Uh, now, what is this? First strike, vigilance, lifelink, and your aura spells cost less? Dude, this fucking blows, man. What the hell am I going to do here? This is fucking stupid. I, I think it's pretty much just done. Right, because their aura spells cost less now. We're, we're sitting, like, what am I going to do? Play this, get the hamster out, and then it's going to die immediately to a huge flying light pause. You know? Okay, that's on, on combat damage, not on attack. Yep, exactly. It's the reverse block. Yeah, exactly. Telling you, man, I, I wind up paying the penance. All right, so we take four, but most importantly, they don't create the uh, wolf token. The milling is fine. It's annoying, but, like, whatever. It, the 2-2 two -two would honestly be annoying. I mean, our field is freaking underdeveloped as anything here. We're, we're Yeah, this sucks, man. Rice, dude. Okay, I think we're uh, done wasting our time. 
All right. <laughs> okay. Okay, dude. You you win. All right, dude. You get your free victory. You sit there, freaking handcuff us behind our back and just punch us in the face. I get it. You win. On to, on to the next one. Let's go. Oh, by the way, I haven't asked for likes, boys and girls. Now that I lost that game, if you haven't already liked the stream, Big Fat MTG works hard for the likes, okay? Kindly like my stream. It helps it get out to more people, and it helps my channel grow. I'm, I'm trying to hit 300 subs at some point in the near future. Oh, let's get this out to more people so we can do that. Thank you so much. Yes? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, sh come on, dude. All right, I get it. I get it. I won a few games, and now I'm going to fucking lose. Like, I get it, man. I get it. Is this too much? It might be okay, honestly. Maybe I should get rid of one of the lands. It might be... Uh, is it greedy to get rid of the lands? It is a little greedy to get rid of the lands. I'm going for it. Sue me. Next turn, we can do an Archimander and this. It would be super nice if we didn't get wiped. Um, but if we get wiped, we can still uh, drop the commander because we have five. Yeah. All right, past turn. Please not, Brotherhood's End. Cupid! Hell! Oh, posters, thank you. Yes, every single poster helps. Thank you. One one poster equals, uh, well, one, one thank you from me. I'm very grateful for it. Oh, yes. Yes! Like, subscribe, and share. Wow, and share. Do it all. The works, boys and girls. Thank you so much. Oh, yes. All right. And we uh, attack. You know what? I should have used um, Lanawar Loam Speaker, actually, there to uh, make that into a... Uh, yeah, I should have done that. Into a creature and attack. Oh, man. Okay. There's still two turns out from River's Rebuke. We can shit all over their Planeswalker, so... Yeah, they'll probably just create the Thopters. They have haste, which is good, but they ain't getting that mock commander. I mean, well, they are. I'm sorry. They're not killing the commander. Yeah, okay. Man bear wins? Cringe out of 10. Just kidding. I, I like the name. I, I like the name, but... You're, you're baiting that. You, you know what you're doing. You want everybody who beats you to say that exact thing. You know that. You know that. You know that's what you're doing. Oh, God. I'm enjoying Minsk and Brew Brawl, Brawl guys today. I, I really am. I, I hope we get some really fat use out of um, All Will Be One, that freaking enchantment. Guys, that enchantment is absolute insanity. We're up against Jetmir. I'll tear down the posters. Oh, reported Lana Barry. Oh my god, you've been reported. I'm calling the police. I am doing it. I'm filing a... There's no way... I'm not letting you get away with this. We, we cannot keep this. Against Jetmir? Fine. We have one dork. We have one fight spell. This isn't really going to do anything. But we still have it. Oh, Barry's tearing down my posters. That's Cod Swallop. That's Horse Manure. Um, We only have one play here. Do I block that? Do I block that, you guys? No. Sadly, I need to stay ahead. Uh, plus one mana. Wedding. Oh, boy. Yeah, they're... Uh, they're looking really nice on their way to Jetmere here. Um, Do we go Clothis? Rhythm of the Wild? I guess just Clothis. We have um this thing, so we... That could give Clothis a lot of devotion to red and green. Yeah, they make even more. I, I I can't do anything, unfortunately. I have to sit here and take that. 
The only good news is that now wedding announcement will not make them a token, but rather draw them a card. Yeah, they're doing it, man. They're doing it. This is brutal. We do not have an instant speed kill for, um, what's it called? Okay, hang on. One, two, three, four, five. Do I need a six? No. Just for Veil of Summer? No, I don't need it. So we'll just get rid of this one. Gain two life. Never know if that'll be the uh, the difference. Um, Probably this. I think it has to be. I don't think I can even attack with it. We will stomp out evil. We're probably going to lose the commander here. We're definitely going to lose the commander here. Those do not have double strike. But this is very bad. This is very bad. I think we honestly have to just uh, take that, right? Because what's the point? Kill Amara? I think we just lose. What? How did this happen? We have seven mana. Seven mana. The commander's not really going to do it here. Quartzwood Crasher, and then we can fight? What? We would fight Jetmir. With the hamster token. Oh, shoot. I can't do that. Shit. Wait, do I proliferate? Yeah, I proliferate first. Okay, I can do that. All right. What does this turn into here? Better not add mana. Oh, boy. Reading assignment. Oh, God. All right. Arcane Signet is going to help with that commander tax. They did not attack. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Okay, we have seven capacity. Are we dropping Minsk and Boo? Then maybe getting the hamster token flung at... Nobody really. This this would become um a creature though is the thing. Good, fuck you. <laughs> but for the record, hang on, I want to say, would it have been good to do this? And the token would be four four. Oh, also one more thing. Um, but oh man, I don't really see anything else to do. I mean, holding this open, I don't know if that would do too much against the double strike attack. I guess we would have had to make this. Yeah, leave match, all right. We probably would have had to attack with it too, right? Because this could make blockers for us. He didn't like that. He didn't like that we killed his commander. He just wanted to smoothly drop everything and then win really fast with Jetmir. I think he's a little upset. He's probably grumbling about how I took too long. He has a point. Oh, there it is. All will be one. Oh, that thing is so cool. I like Planeswalkers. I don't think he liked that one bit. Yeah, I, I don't know. Gosh. I don't know, but I, I told him good game after the fact. Try to smooth it over. Not really, I was just being petty, but... Oh, uh, man, I can't take this, dude. I, I can't do the desperate Arnie Slays the Troll just for a mountain. It would be nice if we did that right into Chandra. Fine, uh, fine. Um, fine. We'll get rid of that. Damn it. Okay, damn it, dude. Highland Forest. 
next turn, Signet into this, and then pray. Thoughts and friars, everybody. Thoughts and friars. All right, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we get this. Yes, please. That into hardened scales. I feel like this falls to a breed that doesn't. So. <laughs> dies it deals damage to any target okay that's pretty cool we can bring this in tap since we're not really doing anything super special here if they don't kill the ozolith we're gonna be so happy we're gonna be so happy oh my god if they don't kill the ozolith all right mechanized warfare that's very good Do we attack? We nah, I want to force them to. Uh, I want to force them to deal with it. Dine. And if they do, the counters go on the Ozolith. Oh, well, there's what Chandra's burning. Now, when this dies, it deals one damage to any target, which would be two. That would, if we bl block this one, our commander would die. We have to block that one. We'll live through that. We'll take two damage and then two from actually blocking. But we'll live, damn it. You better have something for that. Two damage? Okay, that's going to be three. That's good. Commander still lives. Ozolith gets its counters. Big Minskin Boo. Big Minskin Boo. Look at us. We are tough. Do we attack with that? Do we attack with that? Maybe not, honestly. Eh, at this point, yeah, honestly, yeah, let's attack. Let's fuck it. Let's attack with that. Screw it. What are they going to do? Hit it in our planeswalker now? Go for it, dude. Should I kill that dragon or, or this thing? Do you think they're going to cast three next turn? I think we could kill this. Eh, nah, it deals two damage to any target. This one. Alright. End turn. Alright, so the Smoldering Egg didn't turn over, so we're good there. They probably attack Chandra since they can kill it. Oh, brother. I think you're dead, buddy. Let's see, you're gonna take six damage and then ten damage. Oh, brother. Oh, wait. No, he can block with everything. Let's force him to block with everything, though. Do it. Do it. Block with everything. Everything. Everything you worked for. Block. Chosen insolence. Chosen to be insolent. This is the punishment. That was nice of Carrie Potter to allow us to swing in. I was talking shit, but he or she could have just uh, conceded there. Nevertheless, they just let us swing in. So, good game. Oh, uh, good name too, by the way. Carrie Potter. Nice. I like it. Approved. That And that's just great for Carrie Potter, honestly, that I approved. <laughs> wow, what, a, what an honor it is for Carrie Potter there, that big fat MTG. Gave the thumbs up. Wow, that's damn. That that that'll turn a bad day around. You know what I mean? <laughs> damn. Your boss is a prick. You know. You're late to work because you got stuck in traffic, and then on the way home you got stuck in traffic too. But you know what? At the end of the day, Big Fat MTG said that your name was pretty cool, and then everything's just okay. Damn. That's real nice for Harry Potter. Once again, boys and girls, if you haven't uh, already liked the stream, I'm asking you now that we won, okay? Very strategic there. That's really smart of me. 
Um, I'm going to try it. The only problem is this enters on or tapped. <clears throat> that is a big issue. I'm making a gamble here and hoping for the untapped source of red. I did not get it, but you know what? I get something castable. So it'd be nice if they removed Gala Greeters, of course. Hey, take that. Take it all day. Um, this. I love this card, Don Marianica Bolas, man. I, I, I love I love it. It's great, but it's not like too good. It's it's a three cost planeswalker. Alright, well, we're probably getting wiped here. Hopefully the Planeswalker lives. Alright, that's mildly... This is why. This is exactly why the hell I have this thing in the deck. Because now we only have to deal Phyrexian Obliterator 1 damage, and we swing the Rex in. Boys and girls, we the ones. We the ones. I don't know if we're going to win here, um, but we're going to uh, give it a shot, I think. How are we going to do this exactly? And I'm going to sit here and take my time, too. Hang on. I need to think. Okay. I think I got it, right? Don't we just swing? In? Uh, we, it might not be as simple as swinging in, honestly. I'm going to sit here and actually think about it, because fuck this guy. That's why. Um, okay. Um, you know what? I know exactly what to do here. Boys and girls, say it with me. When you're the best, winning is easy. Thank you. That was Shieldred, which, by the way, this is one of the top decks. I, um, a couple of months ago, so, you know, a couple sets ago, one or two sets ago, um, there was a, um, an arena tournament for Historic Brawl, like competitive, of course, and Shieldred was several of the entries into it, and obviously Cuxo Cocktaker was, um, I think it was two or three of the entries in that shit, too. But, like, Shieldred was there, did pretty well, didn't just, like, scrub out Owen, too, you know? Yeah, that thing's freaking good. And it, it has, like, several automatic victories, like, peer into the abyss, you know? We did it, and we made them wait. Oh, God, it feels good. It just feels so good. All right, can you not play the Tybalt's Trickery one just so I don't have to sit there and watch you put five lands down and then win? If we draw a land, it's Paradise Druid. Yeah, okay, it's a. Uh, it will now be this. The goal is Oracle. So we need that freaking land. If we don't get the land, we can go Paradise Druid and not even have Heroic Intervention back up. I'll take it. Honestly, <laughs> I'll freaking take it. We'll scry away probably whatever isn't a land. Um, that That's great, but that's a little too far out. We're, we're not really there yet.
that makes me think that maybe they're not running the Tybalt trickery thing. Um, we should probably start with Oracle and see what we get. Alright, fine. Uh, fine, dude. Whatever. If they drop, it looks like they have their commander, yeah. So if they cascade into a creature, that's really good for them. Looks like they... Is that binding? They'll probably hit that on Oracle, I have to assume. Right? We, we'll Tamios her. Holding the heroic intervention for a more opportune time. They draw a card, but they're tapped out, so... Um, so probably this... <laughs> go big or actually go big, just go big. Nice, yep, to get it down, but it's tapped, that's good. We still have heroic intervention. They get a nice triome, cool. Jesus, the Immortal Sun. Alright, hey, at least we got the freaking thing down. We don't have artifact and enchantment removal, unfortunately. That does suck. <laughs> another freaking... Okay, dude. Alright, yeah, we get another freaking one of those. Because um, Vivian actually blows up the Immortal Sun. That is definitely pretty annoying. Um, that is a pass turn. Yeah, that's... Damn, that's... Alright, there you go. Okay, whenever Sliver becomes the target of a spell or ability, what happens there? Uh, resolve all. Yep, there you go. Okay. I think this one's pro... Um, oh, okay, there it goes, all right. Yeah, but this is probably just about done. Y you're roping me? You're roping me for his animations, cool. Honestly, we're probably... Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm just wasting everybody's time here. Hey, there you go. I hit shift and enter. That's freaking resolve all, okay? God damn it, dude. Oh, wait. The shift and all actually prevented me from hitting her. Alright, dude. We'll, we'll take a look at the top deck, but... And now, even though it has... Look at that! And now, even though it has this up, now it's offering me to cast Heroic Intervention now that I can't freaking play... What's the difference? It still has the freaking auto-pass on. This fucking game. Oh, God. Yeah, I, I think we're done, though. I'm... Okay, dude. Why, why didn't it not let me... Or give me the option there also? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, I get it. I get it. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah, it's really cool. I like that. Yeah, I like that a lot. That's, that's great. That's so good. Like, shouldn't it have, like, not given me the chance to cast Heroic Intervention both times? Or yes both times? Like, what? what, what? Oh, okay. Okay. <sighs> Breathe. I'm inhaling. I'm exhaling. Inhale, positivity. No. No. I'm sorry. I, you fuckers are all the same. I'm sorry. No bandwagon. No, no, come on. Just give me something that's like, come on, dude. That raptor that has questing beast text on it. Oh, shoot. Was that the one that you just told me about? I might have. I, I think I forgot to look at that one, honestly. Oh, man. I, I love it, dude. I, I hope you get it, dude. 
I hope you get it. Oh, man. I, I would love to have uh, more fun dinosaurs for freaking uh, Jisheth. By the way, this coming Sunday, we'll be playing Jisheth. I think uh, on Saturday before it, we will run the Tarask as well. I love the Tarask so much because I'm stupid and so is it. I freaking love the Tarask, man. <clears throat> we have a big fat dinosaur weekend. How about that? Um, probably this, just to, uh, get this down. Oh, is this the new one? Oh, you fucking copied that, uh, YouTuber with the, uh, Oh, kill everything! Make them miserable! Thumbnail? Okay, that's cool. Um, let's go ahead and drop that pass. We'll hold open a braid. Looks like we're up against some, uh, removal tribal garbage pile. What exactly is this? Uh, we'll, we'll abrade that on our turn so that we don't give them another removal spell. Right? I, I like the sound of that. We have to get rid of that. We, we need the land, not that, to get removed by this idiot. Um, we'll deal three damage. Pay the one. Yes, there you go. Nice. Denied them the uh, draw. There you go. Very good. Didn't lose any tempo for it. Beautiful. We actually got something. Doesn't mean that we win or anything. I might want to get um I might want to get Frog Hemoth at them, honestly. Eh, do I do that or do I want Guardian Project before Frog Hemoth? Let's go Minsk and Boom. Hopefully we actually get the counters on the hamster. And it doesn't just fall right yeah. Yep, uh move it to the command zone. And we'll attack. Look at him, he immediately highlighted. Oh, what? All right, what does that come in at six? My gosh. Okay, so we have to send, uh, we have to send Frog Hemoth at that or else they can minus X and kill it. And it, I would love to send it at their graveyard. Or, sorry, at them so that I can get at their graveyard. But yeah, we have to do this. Dust. And what is this in their hand? Okay, we would have lost life equal to that mana value. Okay, that's that's a really good ability. That's nice. Permanent. Snow permanent. Legendary or a saga. I wonder if it's gonna have removal. Oh, whoa, really? All right, smothering tithe. We can go ahead and pay the two there. It's fun. Uh, Urza Silex, then then destroy all other permanents. So do we really need to kill this thing? Honestly, we might just so that they can't like draw another card next turn with it. And that comes in tapped. So is there anything that I want to do now? Curse you and your progeny. I don't really think so. Guardian Project is just going to fall to that. I, mean, I don't have any... Maybe getting this out and then making it indestructible would be good. If we get a land. But yeah, we're definitely going to hold our commander until after that thing is gone. Because the next time we cast it, af after that destroys it, it'll cost freaking nine. Uh, that is really good. Uh, we're going to have to, like, kill that now. And we don't really have the stuff to kill it now. Uh, do we want to do that? Because um, it's exile, so I can't even use open drill. Um... 
Ah, uh, we probably pay it. Yeah, we probably freaking pay it. Okay. Um, let's just attack. Uh, four. Well, one, two, three, four. One of them is a creature, so it gets one counter. Do I want to go this one? Not really. The thing is, they're just going to exile our creatures now. I think we're probably about done. We're not generating the value. Yeah, he's just going to wait to exile our creatures. Um, yeah, we'll pay. Is this instant speed? Exile target creature? Yeah, we're pretty much done. I don't need to sit here and waste our time. Sorry. <laughs> He's just going to exile Frog Hemoth at instant speed, and then several other things. <laughs> Whatever we give him that isn't the token. Because, it, you know, it, when it has three or more things exiled with it, then he flips it over or whatever it is. I, I think we're good. The last game, we had a lot of saves. We had Tamios and uh, Heroic Intervention in hand. We still lost it, of course, against the first layer. But <laughs> we did have them. We're up against Go Shintai. We have a pretty good starting hand here. I think we should keep this. If we get really lucky, we'll have six mana to drop this on their commander, maybe by, like, turn four. We'll see how that goes. Oracle turn three is the dream and then get a land off the top. I like these Xanathar sleeves. I like that, man. Uh, it's got the nice cosmetic style there. Looks good. Oh, wait, it, it doesn't have the, the like, rotate stuff? I don't know. Uh, that needs to be taken care of pronto um, before it gets really huge. So we have to drop Oracle. Thank goodness. Hmm. Hmm. So we should have six capacity for mana next turn, at least. Okay, that's not an enchantment, so that thing didn't grow. Now it'll grow. We have to kill it, though, because it has the draw ability. Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, plus one, plus one counter, and draw a card. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. It's probably something that we need to deal with, right? <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. X equals five. No attack. I think they would love to trade Oracle for that thing. Oracle is pure card advantage if you're getting lands off the top. Pure card advantage. Uh, more than card advantage, because then you also get to have a reserve of lands in your hand. If that Voracious Hydra lives, it's actually providing a good discount to the Great Henge. And they know that because that does have the uh, eye icon next to it. I don't want to mouse over the Great Henge itself and bring their attention to it any more than it needs to be. But yeah, if, if we got the Great Henge down, we could probably go Elvish Mystic and Zelval after it. Get some nice cards going. Wow. Oh, God. Yeah, poor guy. Yeah, we uh, we did the right thing there, man. Oh, man, we got a little lucky with Oracle, too. Got a land off of the top. Feels good. We got two lands off the top, didn't we? First turn and then the turn out. Yeah, damn. I love that card, man. I love that card. Freaking love it. I'm going to check and see how long I've been going on this stream, man. I, Jesus. I, I really like this commander, man. All right, about three hours. Perfect. So we'll probably end it after uh, 
after this one. So thank you all for stopping by. Um, once again, same old spiel. Oh, no, no, I need the Magic Arena window to go full screen. No, no, go full screen. Thank God. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. All right, hear the sounds. We're good. All right. So thank you all for joining me today. I appreciate each and every single one of you, even if you play blue-white. If you haven't already liked the stream, please do that. Thank you so much because it helps my little channel get out to more people. Helps my channel grow. Thank you. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to Big Fat MTG, probably go consult a medical professional. You might need to get your head examined. Something's probably wrong. You know what I mean? The elevator might not go all the way to the top floor. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you just consult with your doctor about that one. Thank you very much for subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. I love this hand, but I have to pass. No dorks. No actual interaction with them. Damn it, dude. Don't make me take freaking hands like this. Fuck. I hate everything. I hate everything. I hate everything. Fine. We'll take that and then we'll bushwhack. I like it. Does it matter which one we get? No, just go ahead and grab a uh, forest right fast. Oh, okay. Check my sleeves, by the way. You know what? I should I should have uh, played bushwhack and then dropped the land that I searched for. What a novice. What a scrub. God, I suck. Um, unsubbed. Let me lead the charge into darkness. Nice, yep. Yeah, plus that. Very good, very good. Um, that's probably Oracle. Come on, baby. Land off the top. Love to see it. I believe in you. I'm feeling some type of wipe from them. I'm not even going to lie. So I think we have to drop the commander swing in at that. It probably... Wait, hang on. Vigilance, lifelink, or indestructible. Okay, so we could block it with, um, with Oracle. Looks like they have some type of uh, play here. We're we're still going to force their hand, though. Um, do we attack with both of them? Probably. Right, they have to do something now. Okay, well, we lose Minsk and Boo. But we still have Oracle on the field. I'm not going to lie, I probably should have seen that one coming. It's right there on the field. <laughs> All right, we lose that. That's good. I believe in you, friend. I'm sorry. Well, yep, command zone. Yep. First round is on you, boo. All right. Ah, oh, shoot. This isn't going to create a token right now. Um, why don't we start by attacking with Oracle? Oh wow, they get the uh they get that and yeah, that's definitely worth doing. Absolutely. Yep. Alright, well, we'll drop this and pass turn. And then next turn we'll drop this for the uh Eh, screw it, I'll drop this turn. That okay. Now we're getting a little screwed. Because loaded definitely dies here. I mean, they have to think a little bit, because if they kill Bloated, then that leaves us the Caryatid, right? And then we could cast our commander. Uh, no blocks. That's a little psychotic. 
Um, how are we doing this? I need to kill Ugin right now. So, and they are tapped out, so we should probably go for it, right? Come on, boo! We're off on another thrilling adventure! <laughs> So you kill that. I could just send the bloated contaminator at Ugin. Right, and then this gets out of here. Yeah, I kind of like that. That way this can't swing at our commander there. Yeah, I'm liking this. Okay, so both of them live. This guy's kind of outplaying me in this one, not gonna lie. All right, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's it. Oh, Kyle, yeah, man, take it easy. Take it easy, man. Have a good night. Thank you for stopping by. Yeah, I think I'll uh, run one more here then, because honestly, I feel kind of embarrassed there. I did not play that one well. I, def <laughs> I definitely feel like a, uh, like a novice <laughs> against that guy. Wow. <laughs> Boy, oh boy, that's probably a mulligan. God, dude. Alright, I mean, the bard class is definitely good here. Probably have to get rid of Escape to the Wilds. Thoughts and prayers, hopes and pray. I don't think so. We might need, like, more lands, or... I don't know. What, what exactly is this? So we don't have Veil of Summer, so we're going to have to sit there and uh, really pressure them with, like, the specter of our commander. And so when they're holding open mana to obviously uh, counter our commander, we'll have to play other things. Because he just took a really long look at our commander. He's obviously running blue and black. Do I want to drop Hajar? Yes. Give them something to deal with so that they can't just straight land past turn. Wow. Okay. They tapped out when we have our commander. They're not packed in negationing. Does this have anything weird like menace or something? The air is sweet. Now let us fight. Go big or just that one. I'm not giving them like a crazy ninjutsu hit with this. They have to use removal for that. Each creature card in your hand has ninjutsu for one, a blue, and a black. Okay. So that'll still give them one blue mana open. Which would not be able to uh, counter branching evolution. So they just tap out for their commander. Oh boy, yeah. You, now you're passing through combat. Don't attack, dude. Come on. Don't don't be that desperate. That's not a good look, dude. Oh, target creature can't be blocked this turn. Oh shit, okay, yeah. Me, me forgetting what I just read on the card. That's not the good look. Alright, yeah, you get your damage in. Well done, sir. Now I can't minus two. That was well played. Still gonna beat the shit out of you. Since we won't be able to block our commander anyway, we're just attacking with both. I guess we lucked out that they didn't get counters or some, like, Shieldred's Edict to have us sacrifice the Planeswalker. Shieldred's Edict? That would even get around Veil of Summer. It doesn't target us. That card's... 
if you have any, hang on to them because that that's a great card. I think that's going to be a staple in like Commander for a while because the wording is each opponent sacrifices whatever. So they'll undoubtedly swing at our Commander here. No? Okay, well, I think I know everything. And then they must have something. Okay. I do know everything. <laughs> Told you guys. Oh, no, I don't know everything. Do I or don't I? Oh, doubters! Where's my doubters? Oh, don't show yourselves, that's okay. I wouldn't be able to show my face either. We still have Hajar who can sacrifice to give all of our legendary creatures indestructible. He must be ninjutsuing something. It better be real good. Let's see what it is. Doesn't that make a copy of something? Okay, the revealed cards are what? What? Look at the top three cards. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Create a token that's a copy of another target attacking creature. And the token enters attacking too. Yeah, cool, cool. All right. <laughs> All right, it's a token of a legend. Oops. Well, he still gets the kill on the commander. It didn't really do much of anything, though, except put his commander back in his hand. I mean, he'd better have the most amazing thing to do here for two mana, because we're just swinging in. Exile target. Okay, so I should have played Toski. Nice, yeah, okay, he gets the exile. Nice, very good, very good. Gets the exile. Um, am I going to play Minsk? I'm kind of liking them. That's right, because I just bring it in and then I minus two, right? Okay, thank you. It was a little slow there. Not gonna lie. So I know that I gave you guys a little bit of a uh, scare there. Okay. 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 So it's actually really good that I didn't, like, pre-combat main phase play this and then sacrifice the uh, token, right? Because he would have exiled it. I would have been left with this at one to just die to this, getting pecked by that. Woo! Okay. All right. Okay, boys and girls. If you haven't already liked my stream, please do that. Please and thank you. We'll be streaming tomorrow, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the worst Magic the Gathering stream. And uh, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Bye-bye, everybody. Uh, see you tomorrow. Same time, same place. You already know.